Less than 24 hours ahead of time, I booked flights up from Sydney for a long weekend of flying in between shifts. I learnt here in the Canungra area 10 years ago, and talk of great flying over winter and early spring, plus some good flights I had just over a week before, had enticed me to make another visit. Originally we went to Mount Tambourine, but it was too windy, so I talked the guys into going for a hike and fly. This site is amazing and doesn't get flown enough. The locals are friendly, the takeoff is perfect, and it's gorgeous country. What a spot. <laughs> oh, mate! How good is it? You reckon this is better than Tambo? Afternoon, James. That evening, I got a lift back to Beachmont where I spent the night on launch. I hope this guy's on his own. Doesn't have any friends. This wedgie was getting chased by a couple of magpies just before. Another two here. It was blowing 20 knots, so not ideal. I had to keep the speed bar handy on launch. And I cruised around for over an hour just waiting to get high enough to zip down over the back. The idea is to uh, get off a little bit early here so I can get the hint pushed. It's uh, not so windy. This is the highest I've got so far, 850 metres. And a lot of the time I've been sitting around with little ground speed on trim. Sometimes going forward, sometimes going backwards. So I'm finally going on glide. I've got 60 k's an hour, slightly crosswind. Probably going to be some rotor on the other side of this, but I don't think it'll be too bad. Can't see myself making the hinge pick, but I possibly make it to the bomb out. Here we are at the hinge cliff bomb out. I'm on my way up hinges now. The sky is starting to look really good. Probably some convergence going on, but so low you only get one chance really, so I was reluctant. No sun. Most of the time since launching I've uh, been in a very light climb, and after I've taken off, uh, launch is actually coming to sun. So that's Gordo's. Matt is, uh, I saw him roughly in front of me at a similar height on glide down that way before. And he's still got a fair way to go to base. And I guess this is uh, a second climb really, like Hinchcliffe is dead ahead there, it's fully in the sun now, but in hindsight I'm glad I got off when I did, because it worked. You would be able to see Mount Warning, you can pretty much see it, but it's very murky today. This is fantastic, we've got Lamington National Park, and uh, it's pretty lifty through here as you might imagine. See how much lower the cloud is on the east of the uh, caldera. And you see the fort where we had a gorgeous flight last night. And I'm getting uh, 54 k's an hour ground speed on trim, believe it or not. It's supposed to be subtly. Could try and do around the world, but which way around do I go? Or I could just go along the border ranges. Pretty nice scenery. Matt's with me now. Oh, it's just awesome this view. Took a few selfies before. Yeah, I'm pretty busy with the camera today. And just had a muesli bar. Went down well. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, you can just make out Barney over there. 
Lindsay, um, I think I'm going to yeah, follow these plows and then shoot back into New South Wales. Great day. I was going to go for these ones, some nice terrain and some clouds that way, but this cloud looks even better and, wow, look at this. So yeah, let's go. Feeling a bit hard done by it. Had some great clouds here when I left uh, Lindsay. And they all just dissipated as I was on my way over. drops they're almost gone well the birds are singing and so am I if I can get up here and get over to the port what an awesome day of flying so far it's not even midday getting a little stuck here all inside of the port but gradually getting up it's coming out of the base yeah just between cycles I guess yeah I just had a uh, bit of a scratch around I'm feeling a bit confident now that I might make it back to Beach One. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Oh, struggled to the end, but well, I've landed down the bottom, but down first go without any mucking around. Phil's got one of his students out here. Went all the way down there. Oh, super happy. Awesome stuff. Before 3 o'clock and I'm already on the road in Andy's car to give him a retreat. Uh, I'm going to Bow Desert, going to meet him there. So we're running pretty good for time. Andy should be here in about 15 minutes. I've ordered burgers for us, now into this classy establishment, see if I can get a beer. So where are we going Andy? Uh, just going back to Brisbane to pick up my daughter from Kindy. And uh, we're going to make it with about half an hour or 15 minutes to spare. Um, but two hours ago, I was in the woods near Kyogle, and Nick was still in the air on his, <laughs> on his third leg of the triangle to get back to the car. And Andy made, gave me a call and said, are you going to fly back to the car and drive over to pick me up? And I'm like, well, I've got to have to because I've got to get back to the airport tonight. It's just another one of those ideas that I regret. He's <laughs> 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 cruising home. We've seen Phil Highstech on the highway. <laughs> Look at him go. 